Inflation in Kenya hit a 61-month high of 8.3 percent in July. The soaring cost of living is just one of the many issues Kenyans will be looking at as they cast their votes in just hours. So more needs to be done in agriculture, uh, more needs to be done in employment, because with better employment opportunities, I believe uh, Kenyans' living standards can be up. Uh, fuel, we need to reduce the taxes on fuel. For me, the government of the day that will be coming in from 9th, uh, I think these are the things as a vote I'll be looking at and considering when casting my vote. July's record inflation adds to concerns of a possible dip in the economy, a trend seen in election years. Kenya's GDP growth in the election years 2002-2008 declined to 0.2% and 0.5% respectively, while 2013 and 2017 saw a decline of 3.8%. But in this political calendar, the Central Bank of Kenya is not worried, with Governor Patrick Njoroge saying election jitters won't hamper its 5.4% growth projection for 2022. It's an outlook seen across the board. There are some truth to what uh, CBK claims, and uh, um, to some extent, else remain the same. We should expect to see the Kenyan economy to be resilient, of course, Projections from not only CBK, from the World Bank, from the African Development Bank do seem to indicate the economy will decelerate uh, from last year's 7.5% to average of 5.4 to almost 5.7. But despite the positive outlook, Anthony says there's still some caveat to pay attention to. For the stability that CBK is projecting, the assumption is there will be steep uh, growth in the economy, there will be uh, political stability and so on and so forth. So all of these taken together really need to actually explain the extent to which this projection by CBK will materialize or not. The latest warnings and projections of fresh worry for businesses and sectors in the country that are already grappling with inflationary pressures, hugely blamed on the crisis in Ukraine and the fallout of the COVID-19 pandemic. What's been causing additional financial pain for manufacturers and importers is the gradual decline of foreign exchange reserves in Kenya. Although CBK insists that the available dollar stock is enough to cover 4.46 months of imports, it's below the East African Community region's set threshold of 4.5 months of import cover. Analysts say the central bank is walking a tightrope as it tries to rein in runaway inflation while simultaneously tightening monetary policy. Najma Abdirizak, CGTN, Nairobi.